you get to hear the gospel. It's very urgent. You need to know tonight, folks, that the Lord, the Lord is rich and abundant in mercy, and he wants to save you from your sin. The question is, do you want to be saved? Because I tell you, none of you want to end up in hell. But you know what? The way, the way that you're acting, your attitude towards the Lord Jesus Christ reveals, reveals that you don't care about going to hell. And you should care. You should care because God cares. Understand hell is a real place. It is not a joke. Many people like to use uh, the word hell as just a cuss word. No, uh, uh, no, uh, hell with this and hell with that. No, or, or, you know, send people to hell. How about saying, go to heaven? How about that? Well, well, because that means your, you know, your, your heart is deceitful and desperately wicked above all things. The Bible says, who can know it? Who can know it? That's why tonight you need to know that hell is a real place. And if you do not turn to the Lord Jesus, make no mistake about it. I'm being real with you. I'm being truthful to you because it is the truth. If you do not turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, if you do not repent and believe the gospel, you will die in your sin and you will go to hell. There's many people in hell, folks. Many people. We don't want you to be one of them. Do you know how serious this is? Wow. That you're going to end up in the lake of fire if, you, if your name is not found written in the book of life. Understand, you need to repent. The scripture tells us that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You got to turn away from your sin, like homosexuality, like fornication, like drunkenness. Yes, yes, you got to turn away. That will send you to hell. We don't want you to go to hell. That's why we warn you. People, people are walking in sin and think it's okay. It is not okay. You're not okay. You need redemption. You need to be delivered. You got to wake up New York City. This is not the city that never sleeps. Don't believe the mantra. Don't believe the hype. New York City is not the city that never sleeps. This city is sleeping. You're spiritually sleeping. People are smoking their lives away, drinking their lives away, fornicating their lives away. No being covetous, especially on Black Friday. Living in idolatry. No of these things in hatred towards one another. Racism from the blacks and the whites said let no one deceive you with empty words for this reason the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience to therefore be not partakers with them I just tell you today folks that God demonstrated his love for each and every one of us at a moment in time and it was on the cross the cross understand the cross and what happened afterwards has split a uh, human history in half. It split history in half. And understand tonight that there's bad news that we must hear. There is bad news. And the bad news is that God has told us in his word that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Each and every one of us, including me, especially me, has sinned against God. Yes, folks, we have sinned against our maker. We've done things that are unrighteous. We have, ne we have not been walking in faith. We have not been walking in obedience to God's word. And understand, each and every one of us is going to be judged by the word of God. If you did not know this, Jesus said, He who rejects me and does not receive my word has one that judges him. The word that I spoke it will judge him in the end. Yes, the word of the Lord Jesus is going to judge. And I tell you today, if you're not keeping God's word, that means you're condemned. We don't want you to be condemned. We want you to have salvation. That's only and only found in Christ Jesus. The Bible says the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. And there is salvation in no other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. But Jesus says that if you love me, you will keep my commandments. He said this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. Yes, Jesus tells us things to do. 
he has commandments, he is the Lord. And he said, why? Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? And I tell you, being covetous on Black Friday, that is sin. That is sin. That is not the will of God. You're putting things before God. That's idolatry. And understand, covetousness, which is idolatry, such people do, do not have an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. You need to repent. You need to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. That you would, that you would, uh, you would be justified by faith in Christ. You need to turn unto God. The Bible says that He, that He became uh, the author of eternal life unto all those that obey Him. So understand, Jesus must be obeyed. This is not a light day, folks. It's not light. So a lot of you walk by and I know they say, you know, uh, you know, I love God, I believe in Jesus. No, but are you born again? So understand, when you love God, when you come to the Lord, you'll be on fire for the Lord. You'll be, you'll be rejoicing. You'll be wanting to do His will. Now understand, those are things just for the body. But the real you is a soul, people. That is the real you. You are a soul. The minute you came into this world, the minute you came into this world, it was ordained by God. We all came into this world for one purpose, and that is to glorify God. It's not for any other reason. You didn't come into this world to have a job and die. You didn't come into this world to just have a family and die. You didn't come into this world just to enjoy the things of the world and die. The reason why God created you was to glorify Him. That's why He created you. Ask yourself, this day, are you glorifying God with your life? Are you glorifying God with your life? 